If you're a relatively new player to ground it and you are struggling to get these bugs taken out to try to get your tier 2 weapons, there is an easier way to do it and I'm going to go ahead and show you how right here. So I am right here by the flooded area. As you can see, I am by also by the hedgerow, which is right here, and this spade shovel. Let me go ahead and show you on the map real quick where I am at. So if we came straight down from the oak tree, which is right here, you come straight down, and right here is where you want to go. Uh, that's where the research station is at, and that's how you get up into the hedgerow from this direction if you're new to the game. So let's go back and go ahead and head up to the research lab which is right there, as you can see, in the distance. Okay, as you see, I'm up by the research lab. Plus, I made this a little outpost base, which I suggest you doing. I at least add a little uh, lean-to here so you could sleep and also set it as a respawn point if needed. A uh, workstation, little, little storage chest, and a fireplace for food well we're gonna go ahead and continue on and i'll show you where a great location for farming these bug parts are at so go ahead and follow me So if you look off into the distance onto these trees you will see that there are web sacks all over the place this is where we're headed to and we're going to come up to these web sacks and just go ahead and take them out. As you can see, I'm using all tier 1 weapons and I do not have any of my mutations on. So I'm I'm playing as if I just started the game. So this is why I'm saying that this is a great area to farm these specific bug parts. What you do is you just hit them. And they open up some may not produce anything as of this one i did pick up a, a piece of web fiber you will also have to the only thing you'll have to worry about on these is fighting up to four little spiderlings which is really not that bad so right there there is a ladybug head part which you can use to build the ladybug helmet Right here is another ladybug head, as well as a, the stink bug parts. Stink bug parts are used to make your insect hammer, as well as your gas mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue on this, this route until I find more spider egg sacs. Okay, so right here is a stink bug gas sack, which is used to build your gas mask. Another ladybug head and a lot more web fiber to make rope later on. I'm going to go ahead and use the zip line. As you can see, there is a whole bunch of them up here as well as some spiderlings running around. So I'll go ahead and take care of the spiderlings first. And then I will go ahead and then start harvesting each web sack. And so as you can see, this is a very easy way of trying to get certain parts of the bugs that are harder to kill at the beginning of the game, such as the ladybug head, the stink bug parts, and bombardier beetle parts. You're still going to need to dispose of those bugs to get the other additional parts needed to build, such as your lady complete ladybug armor set, insect hammer, and such things like that but with this you're able to build the the gas mask with the parts that you harvest here and it's just an easier way of getting parts instead of trying to fight those harder bugs at the beginning of the game plus if you continue on over here you can go ahead and continue on and do the hedge lab mission if you have not done so yet and if you haven't i'm going to go ahead and link the walkthrough guide right up here somewhere here here Somewhere up here, I will link that. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. And as always, you guys have a great time out there exploring the backyard. I am Magic Flying Potato, and I am Oot.